Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to do a timeless pick a card reading for you. This has your past, present, future energies. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot um, for the tarot deck. And um, I have three different oracle cards in each pile as well, just to see what's going on. Um, so it's just a quick pick a card. So take a moment to feel into which one appeals to you most. We have number one with the Amethyst Citrine Mix. We have number two with the Kynite. And number three with the Malachite. Okay, so the stones have no bearing whatsoever. They're just there for reference so that you can take your time and pick your pile. So if you want to pause the video and do that, you can. Or if you want to just look at the thumbnail and choose from those, you can. I will put the timestamps in the description box below so you can jump straight to the one that you chose. But let's take a look at what's going on with each of these readings. So I'm just going to put number two and number three to one side. So that's number three. That's number two. And the Citrine Amethyst mix is number one so i have here your past present and future energies okay so the past and energy is something that is affecting you um still it can it's the sort of the recent past something that has has some bearing on what is in the present as well so we have here the Four of Pentacles. Now the Four of Pentacles is a lovely card in that it's, you know, it's pentacle energy, that's earth energy. It means being connected with nature, that, that building, that developing, growing things. And the number four in this one is all about making money, making bank. But it's also a bit of a warning card. It can indicate, and it did come out in the reverse when I, when I pulled them out, but with this deck, they don't really have reversals as such. So um, I'm just going to tell you the the sort of the negative side of it. Um, and that is that it's a warning to not be so money orientated. Um, you know, not to focus so much on money that you become a bit stingy and a bit obsessed with it and you know it's about remembering to be generous and remembering to to share the love to share the wealth to share your time and your energy with your loved ones and really and truly to to not be focused on the pennies all the time you know and if so if you have been a bit caught up with making your checkbook balance, you know, um, getting the bills paid, making making money and not really paying any attention to your loved ones. This is a stark reminder to remember to do that because, you know, the next two cards are to do with the love that's attached and uh, surrounds your financial abundance, okay? So we have in your present energy, we have the Ace of Cups. And this is a beautiful energy coming in for you. Um, so whenever you come to this, you can expect that love and abundance, you know, your cup overflowing. It is that it, it may be new love for some of you coming in if you are single. It can be love of what you're doing. Um, it can be... Um, you know, but it, it's basically your cup filling back up, okay? And your cup can only fill back up if you are willing to be generous, if you are willing to be open. So it's like this four of pentacles here, this focus on the money is is not conducive to having your cup filled up, okay? So that's, that's what this one is here to say to you. Your present energy is one of refilling your cup, refilling your cup with love, refilling it with abundance. It's a beautiful energy to have here. And it's a new love. Aces are beginnings. So it's a new chance for a beginning that is filled with abundance and joy and happiness. 
And boy, is it ever, because based on these two cards, your possible future outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, this is money and abundance overflowing. This is, um, this is getting your just desserts, you know, this is, this is a great card to have here. And it is very much dependent on that, that Ace of Cups there. Um, because it's, it's about enjoying the fruits of your labor. Okay. So, um, it could be a promotion at work. It could be, it could be um, a win coming in, it, um, but it's newfound happiness, newfound stability. It is all about you getting what you deserve here. So fill that cup up with love and see what comes in as a result of it. You know, you can start to enjoy the finer things of life in life when the nine of pentacles shows up in a reading. It is... You know, it, it is the card of luxury, the card of getting what you want, okay? But this is a possible outcome if that cup gets filled up in the present moment, okay? So then I took three oracle cards for you. I took an enchanted map um, by Colette Baron reed And this one is the dry desert. And then I took a Wisdom of the Oracle and we have Yin Energy. And I took a Magical Mermaids and Dolphins and we have a Soulmate Relationship. New Romance with a Spiritual Basis is here for you now. So let's delve into these three. So the Dry Desert. This is, you know, it, it's, it's that card of... Um, digging deep for that inspiration and that truth. You may have felt like you had a bit of a dry spell. So, sorry, let me hold that up to you. This camera's at a funny angle. I do apologize. So it's saying, you know, now is the time for you to be resilient and adaptable. And this is that four of pentacles energy. You know, it's adapting. It's not sticking with counting those pennies. So in the book, because I like to give you the full reading from, from the book with these ones. It says, is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're on an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until... After consistent effort, you reach the oasis you're searching for. So there you see, so the four of pentacles, that feeling like you need to keep everything close and you need to watch the pennies and you're very focused on the money. You go through that dry desert, get your cup filled back up with that ace of cups and you come out to this beautiful nine of pentacles energy here, um, which is that oasis you've been searching for. So consider the creatures that live in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of the outer environment. In desert, water, essential for life, can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you lo locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. Again, we're going back to being open, being generous, being, you know, not focusing so much on the money on because money is the, the ego side. It's not all about the work and the money. OK, fill your cup. Um, <clears throat> this may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. This is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. Okay, so backs up this beautifully. Now we then have the yin energy and yin energy is that feminine energy. It's the energy of love, of openness. This is a very, very much a reminder to be 
loving, to be loving to yourself, to be kind to yourself, to be loving with others and kind to others. This is a this is a real message of opening up that feminine energy. And that feminine energy is one of going within, again, echoing the dry desert here, <clears throat> of self-discovery, of finding those things that are truly important to you. Okay. And then we have this lovely soulmate relationship card. So for some of you, that Ace of Cups is representing a new romance with a spiritual basis. Okay, so this, for some of you, you are calling in a soulmate. So you need to be open to receiving that. Those of you that are in a relationship, you know, your soulmate isn't necessarily a romantic partner, but it. If you're in a relationship, then, you know, this could be the partner that you're with at the moment being uh, on a more spiritual basis, being that romantic spiritual soulmate that you need, but you need to be generous with them. You need to be loving with them. You need to be open with them in order to fill that cup back up with that love and that abundance in order to get your rewards. And there are serious rewards to be had here okay so this is a beautiful reading i hope you enjoyed it um until next time do please remember to like share and subscribe to my channel but until then namaste okay number twos you were kinite weren't you let's take a little look I put the um, oracle cards to one side. So we're having past, present and future energy. So your past en energy is the past energy that's still sort of flowing into the future um, or into the present rather. So we have the emperor, we have the daughter of pentacles and we have the high priestess. And this is the wild unknown tarot by Kim Krams. Um. So let's take a little look. So the past energy, which is still sort of affecting the future right now, is the emperor. Now, this is a beautiful energy. The emperor stands straight and tall and true, just like the tree in this um, picture here. He is strength. He is the one that can strategize and see through things and um, work through things in a very logical way it's it's about you know um that sort of entrepreneurial spirit so even if you are not um working for yourself if you're working for someone else it's still that that spirit of being strong being dynamic being um being very much in control he is uh you know he's proactive so you've been very proactive number twos um and very decisive and these decisions have brought you good amount of clarity in life um and if you haven't made those decisions yet then trust that those decisions once they've been made will bring you that clarity um so it's just knowing what to do OK, so if you feel like you haven't quite got there yet, don't worry, because you will. You will be able to see for miles and miles to come yet, as per the tree. You know, this clarity will come. OK, that's that's what this emperor is there showing you. So even if you're not quite there yet, trust that this is something that is happening now. And then we have in your present energy, the daughter of pentacles. Now, the daughter of pentacles, she is a little bit more in the background than most um, most sort of uh, like the knights and the kings and the queens. She's a little bit more reserved, but she has that lovely pentacle energy of being connected with nature, being very productive, very proactive. Um, she's extremely hardworking and 
very responsible. So you are entering into this time of being productive, being proactive, being um, strong, again, just like the emperor. Um, and know that uh, getting out into nature will help you to thrive at this time, okay? Connecting with nature. You know, you've got the emperor there who is that earth energy. He's the father of earth energy. And you have the daughter of pentacles who is also that earth energy. So getting into nature is very important for you right now at this time. And um, it will help you to connect and it will help you to make progress. It will help you to work through anything that you're working through with. So whatever your question is right now, know that you are on the right path and you can work through it. And you are entering a very productive time. And we then have as your possible outcome here, we have the high priestess. Now, the high priestess, she's very still energy. She is the energy of seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. You know, it's taking that time, which is where getting out into nature will help you. Taking that time to be still, to be quiet, to meditate, to walk in nature and to connect with your intuition. OK, Um so she is kind of the antithesis to the emperor here. He is all about action. She is about non-action. She is about taking time to be still. And by doing this, you will find your happiness. You will find your success. You will find your results. You have been in a very productive time. You have been working through things. And when you can sort of take that time out, that time to be still, that time to be quiet, that time to find the mysteries that you have been searching for, they will be revealed to you. OK, so next I'm going to have a look at the Oracle cards. We have the Enchanted Map Oracle and we have Making a Choice. I am not surprised to see that one there at all with the wisdom of the oracle we have a leg up again very appropriate and we have with the magical mermaids and dolphins morning affirmations so let's get into these ones now with these ones i like to read you the um, information from the book just because it gives you a little bit more of a um, deep insight into what's going on so we have making a choice so obviously making a choice is about coming to a decision, okay? Now this decision that you need to come to, you will know what that is. You've been working towards something. You have been um you have been strategizing, planning, plotting, creating situations in order to work you towards a decision. The high priestess is there to remind you that the answers lay within you. And this one here, it says, you are faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road and must make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it, yet you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and travelled a few steps. Well, that's what this these two cards are all about you are starting to take those steps okay and then the high priestess is there saying the mystery will be revealed you will get to know what the right decision is okay so trust your intuition ask for a sign from spirit and you will be led to the right path if you remain conscious and aware your choice will be the right one at this time Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. So there you go. That's essentially what this is all about. OK, so it's all about whatever choice, whatever fork in the road, whatever decision you need to make, whatever you have come to. This is about, yes, you are taking those steps with that pentacle energy and that emperor energy. You are taking those practical steps. And then the high priestess energy is there to say, 
Use your intuition. Let your intuition guide you because you know deep down or deep within what is the right move. And then we have the lovely leg up card. Now, a leg up comes when sometimes we need a little bit of help. We need a bit of guidance and spirit is here to guide you, to help you to give that leg up to help move you forwards, to help move you upwards. So if it's a promotion you're seeking, a new business opportunity, whatever that is, then know that by being connected, by trusting your instincts, by taking time to meditate, taking time to look after yourself, you will get that leg up and you will get that assistance that you need, okay? And then we have morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Beautiful. So if you are feeling at all unsure, if you're, you know, if you're struggling a little bit and you're thinking, well, this is taking an awfully long time to get to where I want to get to, just remember to keep that positive attitude, that attitude of moving forwards, that attitude of being positive and say things that make you feel good. Okay, so I am wealthy. I am successful. I am happy. I am healthy. I am in love. Whatever those affirmations are, use that I am concept to really start your day off with positivity and watch your manifestations come into being. So beautiful number twos. Looks like success is just around the corner for you. And that's a lovely, lovely energy. Okay, thank you, number twos. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very much appreciated. But until next time, have a wonderful day. Namaste. Okay, number threes. You are the Malachite. I'm just going to pop the oracle cards to one side and I'm using the wild unknown tarot by Kim Krantz for the tarot reading of your past energy which also still is current your present energy and then your future outcome your possible future outcome so we have judgment the wheel of fortune wow and mother of pentacles okay so your past energy, that energy of judgment, this two main, main, there, I'll try that again. This is two major arcana cards here for you. And that's a pretty darn strong start. Okay, so judgment is, um, is the card of forgiveness and past, present, future energy. Okay, so there may be some things that you need to forgive yourself or forgive your uh, forgive others about in your past okay it could be recent past could be distant past but those things that still affect you in this current future in this current energy will carry on into the future if you can't let them go okay so that's um that's one of the things so it's about seeking seeking your truth in this situation what do you need to let go of what do you need to um to forgive yourself and others for you know it, it's not the time to be making excuses if you found yourself making excuses or blaming others or blaming yourself for things it's time to let that energy go okay and that will give you the freedom to make the next step and the next step is a great step to make, okay? So it, this card is showing up, showing me that you need to open those wings and fly. Fly away from the things that have been causing you trouble. So if you've been feeling really bogged down, really stuck, really feeling like, you know, um, if you've been stuck in a cycle of blame or um, a cycle of angst because of things that have happened in the past that are triggering you now you know it, it's time to let that go and the beautiful thing is that you then have the wheel of fortune 
as your present energy. So this shows me that you are really and truly ready to let that go. Because here's the thing with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? A wheel turns, that's what it does. And the Wheel of Fortune keeps on turning. And this one is here to remind you that, you know, whatever has gone on in the past, it's time to just let that go to the bottom of the wheel now, to let that how it's had its cycle, it's had its turn, it's time to go for the next cycle. And the Wheel of Fortune shows up when basically you really don't have much of a choice. You are, you know, fortune is turning, fortune is in your favour, which is a good thing. And it's all about you getting getting that momentum in your life again. So releasing that old energy and it and anticipating the new and anticipating the good things that are coming in so it's it's allowing that cycle to continue don't try and put a spoke in the wheels okay that's the energy that i get from this and then we have this beautiful mother of pentacles energy so those of you that are homemakers that are you know very much um in the home a lot you may be feeling a little bit trapped. You may be feeling like, you know, the, there's something that has been holding you back. You haven't been releasing your, your inner desires. You haven't been spreading your wings and flying. But the Mother of Pentacles shows up because she does represent that. She does represent that home energy. But she's also that pentacle energy, that earth energy, that nurturing and caring energy, which you can turn towards yourself as well as others. OK, and that pentacle energy is one of growth, of development, of building. It's also the energy of money. It is the energy of success. And the mother of pentacles, she is she's my minor arcana of the empress, the one who births into creation new things. OK, and my sort of my connection to the mother of pentacles is that she's very similar to that although she does have that very strong motherly energy whether you're male or female you'll still have that feminine energy within you um it's it's about having the success that you want and that you deserve and being satisfied and being happy in what you do and this is something that if you can release that past energy and embrace what it is you truly, truly desire with that wheel turning in your favor, then you can get to that satisfied feeling of arriving, you know, of having the money that you want, the home that you want, the family that you want. So it's a beautiful energy that you are working towards here. And this is your possible future outcome, okay? doesn't mean it's set in stone and if you don't want that you can change it nothing is set in stone okay so then we have the enchanted map oracle we have balancing act and yes i can see why there would be a balancing act here very much so and then wisdom of the oracle <laughs> we have poised another one associated with being balanced and then we have Blessed Change with Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. Okay, so let's get into these. I like to read you from the book for the Enchanted Map because I just like you to get all the information. Okay, so a balancing act. You are calm within no matter the fluctuations of outer conditions. That's beautiful. So there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. That would be that judgment energy of that past, that past influence that's making you feel um, stuck or less than or, you know, um, stuck in that cycle of blame, you know. Um so perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. 
Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused and level path. So really, this is hammering home for you, my lovely number threes, that um, this is the time that you need to be putting your life into, into order. You need to be feeling that sense of calm, that sense of balance. This is where that mother of pentacles energy is, is very lovely because when you get to that balanced state, she is the energy that you will feel, that energy of calm, abundance, generosity, love, you know, all of those wonderful, beautiful energies. And at the moment, you may need to be <laughs> poised and... Again, this is to do with balance. This is to do with you being ready, you know, you being ready to be ready to be ready, as uh, Abraham Hicks would say. Being poised is about that inner strength within you, that inner calm within you, that sense of things being right, things being the way that you want them. And you want to be paused ready for the next cycle in that wheel of fortune to bring you to that balanced, calm state of the mother of pentacles, okay? And it's happening. We have a blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. So if you can change the way you are reacting to the past, the way you are reacting to situations because of the conditions of your past. You know, if you are being triggered to um, an emotional response because it's the way that you've responded to similar situations in the past, think about stopping that cycle and changing it. Turn that wheel in a different direction, okay? Because that major life change that you are about to embark on with that wheel of fortune energy there is a blessing. It is a great blessing and it is going to bring you to a place of peace and abundance and love and stability. Okay, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous energy number threes. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. But until next time, have a wonderful day. Namaste.